everybody, it's Team Tuesday. I'm Jen Taylor. And I'm Bailey Scanlon. And this is the... Cheers, Team Tuesday. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> we did rehearse that. Hey, we're coming at you on Tuesday. It's our, in tradition, it's our Team Tuesday. We're gonna kick it off with a unique topic every week. And this week, I'm sitting here, I'm the lucky one to be sitting here with my assistant, previously my intern, now officially my, my assistant, Bailey Scanlon. And I wanna talk to Bailey a little bit and all of us about what it was like to get our real estate license. Oh, Bailey's yeah. in it right now. Um, so we wanna get into that. Um, Bailey, tell us, tell us the stage that you're at right now. Um, I just finished the orientation. I'm getting into the first legal and the laws of Colorado and a lot of the terminology, which is a lot. So mm -hmm. getting into that and it's super fun. And the course that you're taking is an online course? Yes, it's fully online. There's um, help if I want, I can get, um, in-person tutors, but I'll probably stick with the online sections. Just if, if I need help, I can go online. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna hear more about what inspired her to proceed to, to pursue her real estate license. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about um, what is so important to us at the Christie Reese Group, and I'm speaking with Christy right here next to me um, about business development and how we, as agents, what do we have, nine or 10 agents now? 10. 10 agents, full-time agents. We're all professionals at what we do. We take what we do very seriously. We were just awarded um, as, a, as a data point. Um, we're the number one large team by transactions in the state of Colorado. High fives all around and right here. And we're number 37, 36, 37 in the United States by transactions. When you look at, when you think about all the metropolitan areas, um, you know, that we, that we, that are, we're colleagues with, and oh my gosh, that's like, Western Slope, Colorado, bringing it home. So um, business development, integrity, ethics, all those things are really important to us as we propagate the team of 10, then we'll one day be bigger. A little bit. Uh -huh. I mean, we like being a small team, even though we're considered a large team by some, um, you know, our growth has been really intentional mm -hmm. and we um, are really picky about who we hire here at the Christine's Group. I think that's a really important word for us is intentional. Yeah. 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 So as we talk about those, the ethics and the integrity of business development and working with Bailey, um, who fits right into that, who, who comes with that, it's not a skill set, it's the person, mm -hmm. right? And then we develop the skill set. So um, every Tuesday after we finish these recordings, one of us will read our mission promise, uh, our social impact promise and our vision statement because we subscribe to those core values um, and it's kind of, it's our compass, it's our bearing and it's the lens through which we all make these decisions on behalf of the Christy Reese Group and how we represent not only our agency, but our community. Um, so that's really, that's big stuff. And so, so you've been immersed in that as Absolutely. my intern and now assistant, yep. so. I have been able to see, you know, how that works within the within the group and how everyone represents their clients and putting them them at the forefront of the, everyone's vision. And, you know, I really hope to be able to step up like everyone else in the group one day like this. So so exciting. So tell us about where you are right now. You're finishing up at CMU. Yes. So I will graduate in December with um, my major in business administration. And then I'm also studying for the real estate exam right now. Hopefully I'll be able to take that about September. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll be ready to graduate in December with that. And you're one of the leaders of the cycling team? Yep, I am on the cycling team. I race mountain bikes, track and road, and I have been doing that since I've been little. And I, you know, I love Grand Junction. There's such a mecca for outdoor um, industry here and it's just amazing. So you're pretty much a badass. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much, yeah, a go-getter and a badass, Thanks, and yeah, you're just getting after it. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. You too. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Who who else remembers? Like, tell us about your time. You know, preparing for the test, and we we're all licensed, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, just kidding. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Back to your first day of school, when you have the dreams that you're going to go to school without your clothes on, but the test is intense. I mean, it is. they make it to where you have to know your stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there were two portions of the test, right? We've got the state and we've got the federal, national. Yes. Yep. Yep. State is definitely harder, so. Mm -hmm. But I, I give kudos to Bailey for working in the real estate industry before or while you're going through this because you learn all this stuff on um, for the exam. Mm -hmm. But when you actually get out there and practice it, it's it's totally different. And that's it is. Yes. learning. So yeah. congrats. Good for Thank you. you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do that online course, you know, when you're going to school or you're working and doing other things that really allows you to be flexible with your time and 
Absolutely. Instead of rushing through a class and getting to the next thing you have to do, you really get to Mm -hmm. to pause when you need to and really regurgitate and retain what you're learning. Yeah, I would say since it's self-paced, I'm able to, you know, block out my time blocks for it and really focus my full effort into it and make sure I'm understanding the information. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of skills that come with this too, in terms of really what we are, um, we're communicators, we're facilitators, we're stewards. And, uh, and you coming fresh out of school and having had some professional experience in your past already, um, come to the table with, with that aptitude. And that, again, the skill set of how to communicate and how to um, make sure that you're you know, transparent in you know, bringing, bridging the transaction, really. Yeah, I mean, I've already, I've learned that you know, the test is so much of the laws and the legal stuff. And then you, know, you have the other things within the real estate industry where you're communicating with your buyer and you know, being there for them other than the laws and the legal things where that's more behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I go suppose ahead. you have a great advantage sitting in with us every week too and just kind of hearing some of the stories. Oh so my gosh. Not- Going in like a total newbie from the books. Yeah. Yeah. Street, right? yeah. yeah. You're getting yeah. a little bit of uh, street fight from us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. We're right. Yeah. In the field. Yeah. We, we every Tuesday um, when we have our team meeting, it's usually an hour and a half to two hours. And we talk about learning lessons every week. There are lots of things that come to the table and you get to listen to all those. It's great. Yeah. It's so it's it's really, such an advantage. It's really like a mastermind. I like to think about it that way that all of us sharing mm-hmm. um, what we've learned and how we can make each other better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what do you think? Where do you envision yourself in a year from now? I want to be in Grand Junction. I love the GJ heat Mm -hmm. and I see myself. That's a good thing. (laughs) Yes, it is. Yeah, hopefully riding my bikes, having fun and being being a real estate agent, helping families find houses and, you know, making them happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Any other comments? Anybody else? It all takes us back to when... Yeah, I miss, I'll just, I'm going to be transparent. Um, I was fo- so focused on the national exam and I wasn't as focused on the Colorado, the state exam. Um, obviously I was focused on both, but I was preparing a little bit more for the national exam and I passed that cl- flying colors, but I missed Colorado by one, by one, one point or whatever it was. And I had to take it again. And uh, yeah, I, you know, that's, you hear all kinds of stories, yeah, but. I um, were like, don't worry, Jen, you get it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bailey's gonna crush him. I hope yeah, so. I have him. the best mentor, so. Yeah, every, re- I'm, I'm turning right. Every real estate agent has their story about, the, you know, taking the test and oh, it's, it's, it's kind of nerve wracking, but yeah, you're fresh out of school. Your, your mind's a, yeah, it's all. I'm ready for it. It's all elastic <laughs> and your brain's all squishy and ready to go, so yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Bailey. Thanks, Jen. Can't wait to watch your, how all this unfolds. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.